Firstly, fold back the base about 2 inches to make a hem. Then, place the middle of the base on the forehead exactly just above the eyebrows with the hem on the outside. Next, let the point fold over the head and down over the back of the head. Lastly, bring the ends of the triangle around the back of the head above the ears. Cross them over the point, carry them around the forehead and tie. Firstly, fold into a cravat. Then place the cravat under the jaw, make sure the right cravat is longer than the left cravat. Bring the right cravat across the top of the head to the temple of the near side, then twist them around each other a quarter turn so the left and right cravat are horizontal. Next, the two free ends should be at the same length. Lastly, take the ends around the head and knot them on the other side. Step 1. Wash your hand truly and make sure that you have a clean, crepe bandage. Step 2. Start by applying an anchor just below the fingers to provide full mobility of each finger. Step 3. Bring the roller bandage down diagonally and across the wrist. Step 4. Bring the roller bandage up across the fingers diagonally so that it crosses the downward portion of figure 8 wrap. Step 5. Take the roll of bandage behind fingers and down diagonally across the thumb again. Step 6. Repeat this figure 8 wrap upward and downward diagonally until the joint is sufficiently supported. Lastly, secured with a safety pin at the end of the bandage. Reminder Check the circulation which you can press a fingernail for 5 seconds until it goes pale. If the color does not come back within 2 seconds, the bandage is too tight and you need to loosen it and do it again. Place the affected hand carefully. Start the bandaging in the middle of the patient's back approximately at the waist. Bring bandage up from the waist and over the affected shoulder. Continue down shoulder and upper arm. Then under the elbow and around the waist.
Then continue around the back of the waist, crossing the starting end to the anchor of the bandage. Circle the waist over bent elbow and bring obligon up across back. Finally, repeat the procedure. Each turn ascending and overlapping two or three of preceding turns. Terminate with circular turns over arms for arm, chest and secure. The first step in applying it is to place the patient in the proper position. Anchor the end of the elastic wrap on the mid to proximal arm to the lateral side of the involved arm. Proceed to pull wrap around the upper arm in the medial direction to encircle the end. The wrap should cross directly over the AC joint. Continue to pull the wrap across the chest under the axilla of the non-involved side. And across the upper back to the anterior aspect of the shoulder. The wrap should again cross over the AC joint. Pull the under axilla of the injured shoulder and then encircle the upper arm. Using moderate tension, follow this circle pattern 2 to 3 more times. Once completed, ask the patient how the compression wrap feels, making sure that it is not too tight. Balance of the edges and then tuck it. 
the values of the uh, bandage, you can also twist or cut in, or you can also use a safety pin to pin it. And the twist in and cut it. Alright, this is how to tie an electron sling. Alright, do not forget to check the blood circulation every 10 minutes. Okay, how to check the blood circulation? You need to hold, hold, and you need to press the knees for 10 seconds and when you release it, it must change color in 2 seconds. If it doesn't change color, it means the sling is too tight and you must loosen the tie or reject free against it. Thank you. First, we have to do the cravat fold. Nuts, we have to cross over under the knee. After that, we have to pull the ends to the opposite side. Secure the cravat full with square knot. Firstly, we can start by directly at the knee and make a straight turn first. Then pass the bandage to the inner side of the limb just above the joint. Make a turn around the limb covering the upper one third of the bandage from the first turn. Pass the bandage from the inner side of the limb to just below the joint. Make one diagonal turn below the knee joint to cover the lower one third of the bandaging from the first turn. Continue to bandage diagonally above and below the joint in a figure of 8. Increase the bandage area by covering about two-thirds of the previous turn with each new layer. Make one more straight turn to finish and secure the end of the bandage at the outer side of tight. If a knee fracture is suspected, do not bend the knee, straight bandage it in the position found. Hi, I'm Eliza here. Today, I'm going to show you how to embolize an ankle with triangular bandage. First thing, fold the triangular bandage in a such a straight line. For step 1, place the middle of the bandage in between the balls and heels of the feet. Make sure the two ends of the bandage are still at the same length. Step 2, pull the two lengths around the ankle. And don't forget to tuck in end of the bandage under the other and pull back in front. For step 3, pull the ends back in front and cross the end to form X. Step 4. Take one end of the bandage and tuck in under one of the sides in between the ankle and the bandage. Do this on the other side. Step 5. Perform a reef knot to end. Close the bandage preventing it to unravel and fall off. Left over right, right over left. And for the last step, tag in any loose ends to prevent it from getting caught on something and make sure it's look neat. Let's get started so you are first just going to open your elastic bandage. 
start wrapping here so as i go along we are also going to talk about applying about doing a figure eight bandage make sure that you smooth out the edge smoothing to ensure that you know there are not crinkle and then you go over and it can cause more damage to the skin make sure that the bandage is smooth and nicely applied there you go all the creases are out we went around a couple of times and take going up and around ankle now as i go and continue on so this is where figure eight comes in to make sure all the creases are out from under net because as the patient's walk could actually cause more damage to the bottom of the foot. And here you go, here is an ankle that is properly wrapped with an ace wrap. Make sure the patient still has feeling on the toes and if they don't have feelings, it's definitely too tight. 